This is not another BS top 10 list. No one on the planet has hands-on tested more electric scooters than ESG. Over the last three and a half years, we've heard directly from 50,000 real scooter riders through surveys, comments, and posts across Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, and our website. This video is years in the making, and today we're bringing you the best scooters you can buy in 2022. Best Budget Scooter The Highboy S2 is a bargain and a great choice for new riders because of its low price and strong overall performance. This is the cheapest scooter we can confidently recommend, as warranties, reliability, customer service, and safety can be poor on the lowest end of the market. And you need a real commuter vehicle, not a toy. The S2 has excellent top speed, acceleration, and braking for its price. It's also got rear suspension, which helps smooth out the ride of its stiffer and maintenance-free tires. You get more than what you pay for, but also note there's only so much you can expect at this price point. Best all-around affordable scooter and best rising brand. The newly released new KQI2 Pro is a scooter anyone can ride because the throttle is never abrupt and panic braking won't put you over the handlebars, though the lever requires a firm squeeze for maximum stopping power. It costs a little more than the S2 and has a lower top speed, but the step up in ride and build quality is obvious from start to finish. There's no suspension mechanism, but it still has a surprisingly smooth and stable ride from the large 10 inch diameter air filled tires. It has outstanding range per dollar and an incredible two year warranty. There's almost no one the KQI2 Pro isn't a good fit for, and new is a top brand we're watching this year. They're notably one of the only NASDAQ listed micromobility companies and sold 3 million mopeds prior to entering the kick scooter market. Best swappable battery, best for heavy riders. The UM2 stands out for its ultra light removable battery, an ultra high 300 pound rider weight limit, and a ride so stable that we were doing 180 turns and a little ballet move here and there on it. It's got a long roomy deck 10 inch air filled tires and an above average 450 watt motor. Acceleration, hill climbing and braking performance are all exceptional with the main negative being the display and bulkier design. The UM2 is an excellent nine bot max alternative and Annie Hill is one of the top new brands this year. Best under $1,000. The Apollo Air is an ESG longtime favorite with best handling in its class from grippy 10 inch air filled tires and front suspension that really works. The Air gets a massive upgrade for 2022 with a much larger battery capacity, extremely powerful 500 watt motor while still being under $1,000. The Air is a top option for entry-level customers that are willing to pay a bit extra for quality, which also includes a great app and top shelf support best urban commuter, and best zero hassle. Unagi is a well-known brand that has always been about zero hassle and no commitment, beginning with their extremely generous return policies and warranties since they launched back in 2018. In the last few years, they've become famous for offering the leading monthly subscription in terms of area of coverage and total number of units. They offer no contract and cancel any time, starting at $49 a month, with all the maintenance costs covered and things like theft and damage insurance included for the cheapest price you'll find anywhere. The scooter itself is among the very lightest reliable scooters worth buying. It's intentionally designed, reasonably quick, and a powerful hill climber. With this carbon fiber infused design comes trade-offs of range and suspension, which is why the Unagi is best in the more urban environment where distances are short and portability and style are king. We're giving away electric scooters and $15,000 of free rental months to celebrate this year's awards. All you have to do is watch this video, which you've already done, or subscribe to our channel. Hit the link in the description to officially enter and see more details. Best lightweight high-speed scooter. With an unreal top speed of 30 miles per hour for its tested weight of only 29.6 pounds, the GT Sport is lean, mean, and tactical. But don't be intimidated, it's also easy to ride. U-Scooters has specialized in ultra portable scooters for over six years and have a reputation for reliability bolstered by loyal riders who are happy to show off thousands of miles on their odometers. The ride is a bit jittery, but the utility and top speed is frankly unbelievable. Best long range scooter. Someday the E-Move Cruiser may stop being the world's best long range scooter, but not today. Ever since its introduction, the Cruiser has completely dominated when it comes to long range value, so much so that it's easy to forget that it has awesome semi-hydraulic brakes, tubeless 10 inch tires, plush full suspension, a top speed of over 30 miles per hour, and tons of optional accessories. We weren't kidding when we called it the only scooter you'll ever need. Standard Setter. 
Ever since the original Mantis came out, it set the standard for dual motor performance. At $1799, the new Mantis V2 has a base model price, but its specs and performance are far beyond. It now comes standard with strong hydraulic brakes, sine wave motor controllers that make it easy to ride fast, and an ESG certified top speed that beat the 2020 Mantis Pro. The 2022 Mantis lets you take on the night with a high mounted headlight and a little rain with a new water resistance rating of IPX5 and an extended rear fender. Mantis scooters have always been a great value, but the Cabo Mantis V2 is the best value yet. Best integrated design, best rain or shine scooter. Following two years of painstaking in-house design, Canadian scooter company Apollo shows us there's more to life than just top speed and range with their gorgeous Apollo City Pro. You get smooth yet powerful throttle and brakes, full suspension, flat-proof air-filled tires, ultra-high water resistance, ultra low charging times and one of the best apps out there. Like a Tesla, the app just keeps getting more features after you download it. Though priced on the higher end, everything about this scooter feels so well thought out from the way the turn signals work to the exceptionally well executed regenerative braking. The Apollo City will make you look forward to your commute and to the weekend. Best under $2,000 and best off road. The Wolf Warrior X is simply an unreal amount of thrill and value for under $2,000. It takes everything good about the world's most famous all-terrain beast, the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, and packs it into a 30-pound lighter scooter that's even easier to handle off-road and goes just as far as the 11 Plus. Like the Big Wolf, it comes with a choice of dirt or street tires, and dual stems make it more stable than any other scooter in its class. And we recommend extending the rear fender if you want to ride in the rain. We prefer the base model over the Pro version. It's $400 cheaper, faster, and its sine wave motor controllers make the throttle super smooth. Best Exotic Performance The original Burn E blew us away in 2021 with its hand-welded aluminum frame, carbon fiber stem, ultra smooth ride, and of course by breaking 13 ESG performance records. The Burn E2 blows us away now for value and maybe the coolest scooter you can buy for under $3,500. It's the iPhone SE of exotic performance scooters. 90% of the performance of the original, 100% of the ride quality and good looks, but for 70% of the money. The Burn E2 gives up 11 miles per hour of top speed versus the new Burn E2 Max, but lower power means it still covers the same tested range despite a smaller battery made with generic cells. We love them both, but when it's time to pull out the credit card, we like the Bernie 2 a little more because 43.8 miles per hour is still really fast. Speed champion and industry icon. The Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 was voted best beast scooter in the world twice. Then came the similar, but much faster and more iconic Wolf King. The third generation King GT Pro is a whole different animal and everything a flagship scooter should be. It's fast and absolutely state of the art with a smooth throttle due to sine wave controllers, tubeless flat proof tires, water resistant components, and 55 miles of tested range. Its lights are so good, they've become the standard by which we judge other scooters. The suspension is also among the very best, and the dual stem design makes the GT Pro more stable at 60 miles per hour than most scooters are at 40. One downside to keep in mind is the King GT's weight. Coming in at an ESG certified 125.4 pounds, moving it around won't be easy. Most innovative. The world's biggest scooter company just released their first dual motor scooter. We were honored to receive two of the first 10 or so units in the world, and it's like nothing we've ever seen before. The Segway GT2 is one of the world's quickest production scooters from zero to 30, but it's also surprisingly easy to ride. It's packed with new scooter tech from the fighter jet style display to the girder front end and a fairing that shields your feet from splashes. The GT2 is the first scooter we've tested with traction control and you can count on us for reporting this feature as it reaches the rest of the market. The quality of the user interface really can't be put into words. It has a twist throttle and every function you need is within easy reach, including a boost button and instant on cruise control. Portability may be the worst we've seen though, so plan ahead and note that this scooter is still exiting crowdfunding phase and is less serviceable and less moddable. We only had 13 spots for this list, and that includes everything from $400 scooters to $4,000 scooters and a whole bunch of use cases. So don't be surprised at some very good scooters that didn't make the list. Here are some honorable mentions to give respect where it's due. Quick mid-tier performance. The quickest in its class from zero to 30, the 10 plus also has awesome ride quality from its hydraulic rear shock. This award-worthy scooter gets bumped from champion to honorable mention because of its short deck and awkward throttle and brake ergonomics. Though 
a matching front hydraulic shock would have been enough to nudge it back onto the best list. New rider, 9 bot Max Alternative. The Neon Pro is a new, beefier version of the Okai Neon, which we fully tested. We like the Neon's build quality, new rider-friendly design, and unique features like its stem light. Okai is the leading shared scooter manufacturer in the world, having made millions of scooters, which makes them a strong bet for safety and reliability too. We just received an early unit of the new Neon Pro. Its powerful motor and huge battery could make it a 9-bot max killer, so stay tuned for a review. Best seated scooter and most addictive. Fast and fun, yet incredibly easy to ride, the Roadrunner is by far our favorite seated scooter. Acceleration is endless, carrying you to an impressive 35.5 miles per hour, but also surprisingly smooth considering it has dual motors. The Roadrunner is rapid transportation for anyone, great for delivery or just bombing around town, and so addictive it should come with a warning label. Its swappable battery makes it easy to feed your addiction, with each swap giving you 33 more miles. Best Portable Utility while it's not eye-wateringly fast like the very similar GT Sport also from used scooters, no electric scooter for adults can touch the portability of the 25 pound, three foot long Booster V. Safe scooter with real intangible factor. Always an ESG favorite, the OXO gets your attention with exotic good looks, but the ultra smooth suspension and throttle are why we just can't stop riding it. Our all time ESG braking champion, the safety minded OXO stops from 15 miles per hour in just 8.6 feet. And Inukim is an industry OG, producing scooters in mass ever since 2013. And finally, here are a few scooters we haven't tested, but have us excited for the coming year. I've ridden a Tor prototype and love the elegant, portable monotube design. The foot platforms feel surprisingly normal and Tor hopes to become one of the core premium brands in the market. Subscribe to see it here first. Turboan X7 Pro. Not new, but worth a mention because its swappable battery and above average design make it both a budget option and unique. The Apollo Pro and Phantom V3 are two of my personal most anticipated scooters for 2023. The Phantom V3 with Ludo mode and the aspirational Apollo Pro with 12 inch tires and your phone as the display. These scooters will shake up the performance category. We don't know what to think of the Bow M yet and eagerly anticipate our early unit. We rode a prototype in Amsterdam and spoke at length with their insightful founders, but there is an uphill battle for the $2,400, though gorgeous, M. Regardless though, with this non-folding monocoque frame, self-centering steering, and their take on suspension, it will surely turn heads. We also spoke with Christian, co-founder of CoModule and CEO of brand new subsidiary Ica in Amsterdam about his new company, which made its debut only days ago. What's most interesting here is the company backing Ica, their hilarious brand messaging, the fact that it's made in Europe, not China, and wait for it, that you charge it with a USB-C cable. We can't wait to review the Ica T. For more information on each of these scooters, check out the video description where you'll find coupon codes and best prices. Like we said, this video has been three years in the making. So if you're still watching, please support us with a like and subscribe. Don't forget to enter our giveaway of electric scooters and $15,000 of free rental months. If you're seeing this, you're already eligible and just need to hit the link in the description to enter.